Well, uh, we went into Lady, Lady Gulf with Halsey and everything and took Lady. And uh, Halsey got decoyed away, chasing for flat tops. And the next day, a salvo hit. We didn't even know the Japs were there. I don't understand it. It was four miles away, and they were shooting at us already before before we knew they were there. And uh, the uh, Gambier Bay, we were near near the Gambier Bay, but she got they zeroed in on her, and they just put holes all in her, and they sunk her. And we didn't ever get hit one time. We zigzagged and uh, smoke screens, and uh, we were lucky. And after the battle, uh, a kamikaze hit our catwalk, and we fl exploded one over the forecastle, and a tail section landed on the flight deck. <laughs> we had to check it off before we could launch any planes. <laughs> oh my gosh. So uh, we, we didn't lose too many people, maybe 25. Mm. Uh, and after after that, we went we went into uh, Pearl. I uh, went to Manus first. There was a motor launch come out there with a band in California. Here we come. <laughs> he said, "What we go to the United States?" And uh, we we went in, we left Manus and went into per Pearl for you know. And there was a band on the dock. California. Here we come. He said, "We go to the United States." All right. They put us in dried out, patched us up, and sent us back to Luzon. <laughs> oh my. Okay. So now, because uh, I'm videotaping, what ship were you on? I was on the Kitkin Bay, CV-71. Mm -hmm. And uh, And who was your skipper? Uh, 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 Hanley, Hanley was his name, Captain Hanley. He mm -hmm. was a great guy. Uh, after the battle, we, we went to, uh, it's Luzon. Before on our way to Luzon, it was Christmas, and uh, Captain Hanley turned the ship over to the crew. We run the we run the ship for one day. <laughs> that was great. He was a great captain, uh, and I, we ate in the ward room and was telling the officers light my cigarette. Hold on, let <laughs> what a great time, you know. Oh, funny. I did, it's the first time it ever happened. Man. And how many were in the crew? Oh, I don't remember how many. I mean, everybody but, in the wardroom. <laughs> we have about eight in the wardroom, and the chief engineer was in the scullery. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was a great thing. Oh, good. Uh, and everybody, and they cooked some uh, Thanksgiving before that. They cooked some turkey, and it smelled so bad they had to throw it away. <laughs> well, how disappointing. <laughs> yeah. So we that, that took care of Thanksgiving. Anyway. We went into Luzon. The day before D-Day, uh, there was a kamikaze coming in. I was on uh, uh, security, you know, checking water tight, and t you know, doors and everything. So I went out on a forecastle and uh, I seen the plane coming in and, uh, and all the ships were shooting at him, shooting at him, shooting at him. Nobody hit him. And he came right straight at us and hit us at the water line carrying five to two 500-pound bombs, and we listed way over. And they passed the word, all hands abandoned ship with exception of ship's rescue party. I had to stay there because I was a ship fitter. We went down and shored up bulkheads in the engine room and, and you know, making, you know, some of the, we stayed afloat. Well, the, uh, the carriers, those PDEs, they only had watertight, Compartments of Thorpe ship crossways. They didn't have any this way. So oh. the damage that uh, that plane done is three three compartments. Mm -hmm. You know, and once they flood, once they flooded, then it's leveled off. So uh, and we that was the end of our war there. At the same and, time, the and same so when was that? That was the day before D-Day. Yes, it was uh, October, October, no, no, January the eighth, nineteen forty-five. 
the same time that uh, Kamikaze hit the water line, a five inch shell hit the flight deck, wiped out a whole repair party and a gun tub from one of our own ships. Oh, shooting at the Kamikaze. That's a suicide plane. Yeah, right. Yeah, he, uh, I lost two of my buddies at the repair party. Uh, that was the worst. That was the worst time of my career. Uh, but, uh, I didn't know they would. I didn't know they got killed. Everybody abandoned ship uh, except us, and uh, they didn't have any any gunnery gunnery people to shoot the guns. Right. So they put me on a gun. You know what gun they put me on? I can't imagine. Where the, where the guys got killed, and uh, there was an awful smell there. Oh, I've. Uh, I've stayed with me for three days. Anyway, it was still dark when I got on a 20 millimeter, and when it got daylight, there was blood all over the place. Oh. And that's where, that's where, I didn't know my buddy got killed there yet. See, I didn't know what happened. But uh, that smell was smell of blood. Mm -hmm. and I had got into my clothes. We, didn't, we couldn't take a shower because they hit all the fresh water tanks. They put a tank on the uh, water, uh, hangar deck for us to get a drink. I stood in line to get a cup of water, you know, and uh, that's okay. Uh, but uh, So back to Taffy 3. I mean, you went really fast during Taffy 3 there. Um, so with Taffy 3, you're, you're sitting there and all of a sudden you're You've got a battle going on. Yeah. Just without even any warning or anything. Yeah. And we uh, just launched our planes. And, and you're pretty much by yourself, zigzag. though. Zigzag. No, there was there was six of us. Okay, there were six ships. Six baby flat tops. Baby flat tops. And, and there was four DEs. Uh huh. Three destroyers. Mm hmm. Uh, uh, we lost three destroy. No, two destroyers and a DE or. We lost two destroyers and two DEs. I, I forgot. Anyway, anyway, and uh, so then Sprague was the general there. He was the admiral. The admiral, Admiral yeah. Sprague. Uh, during the battle, he ordered ordered the uh, destroyers and DEs to attack the battleships. Right. And they attacked the battleships. And how many battleships were coming at you? Four battle wagons. One of them was a Yamato. Yamato was the biggest battleship ever made. And they were actually looking for Halsey, what, weren't they? To what? Weren't they looking for Halsey? No. They were just, they, they were coming in to take Lady <laughs> Gulf. They were, they were taking, <laughs> sorry. They were, they were taking Lady Gulf back. Us. Uh, oh. We saved uh, Lady Gulf. We saved uh, uh, General MacArthur went ashore in Lady Gulf the night before, the day before, and we saved him too. Because those, those four battle wagons and those eight, eight cruisers got in the Lady Gulf there would have wiped out everybody. And uh, anyway. And, and so there, I mean, there wasn't a whole lot to fight with, apparently, because you guys put up oh, a smoke string. We had a five, five inch gun on the van there. <laughs> That's all you had to fight with was that five inch gun. Plus our planes. Yeah. I, and the, the five inch gun, it, it was on the fan tail. Yeah. So it's not like it could turn all the way around. No. It wasn't a 360 well, we kind of we gun. Were, we were running anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so you were running, so you were in front of them, we so you could to, shoot that we way. To, you had to turn our fan tail to the enemy because that's only out of, only the only out way of, that you could shoot it. Yeah. I mean, if you look at the fan tail in that five-inch gun, it's not were, going anywhere. They were putting out five-inch shells right and left. I don't know wh how many hits they got, but uh, uh, I talked to the gunner's mate that was in charge after the battle, uh -huh. and they got us. We got a, a hit right underneath. Just sprayed all them, uh, the whole gun tub. Underneath the fan tail? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but it didn't hit our ship. Wow. It, it was far enough back where it would put the water on the but ship. But it was just yeah. a big fountain of water coming at them. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And with a smoke screen, I mean, you saw the smoke screen. Oh yeah. The smoke screen. All the ships were putting out smoke screens. And there was one picture on that uh, book I got uh -huh. where 
you see the Gambier Bay here and the Kitkin Bay is right here. The Gambier Bay has got a little smoke about it. You couldn't even see our ship because all you can see is smoke. So, so how did you guys survive that? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that was kind of the whole thing was that it, it was by the seat of your pants that yeah, just with just one gun. Yeah, the Lord's guys, with us. That's all. You guys that's all are I amazing. Can say. I'm so glad we you didn't survived. get hit one time. Wow. Yeah. You got hit plenty other times. Oh, after the battle, we got two. We exploded a kamikaze over the forecastle, and one hit the catwalk and killed a few people. Wow. Yeah. And what's your name? Bill Manning. Okay, and at the time that you were on the Kitkin, yeah. what was your your um, rank? I was shipfitter second class. Shipfitter second class. Yeah. yeah. And when was when was Taffy three? When was when were was, was that battle? The Taffy three? Uh-huh. It was a group of six baby flat tops. They had ta Taffy one, two, three. Right. And, and you were three. And when was that battle that we were talking about? October the 25th, 1944. 1944. Thank you.